What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope So hey everybody, it's Mickey, and today we are going to be spending the day together. I have some appointments to go to this morning, and since I'm not in my regular comfy clothes, I'll be sharing with you guys my outfit of the day. We're going to be making a little bit of lunch, a little bit of dinner, and I have some really fun things to share. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. Before I head out the door this morning, I wanted to share with you my outfit of the day. This paisley dress I got at Macy's Online. It's just a little button-down shirt dress, really soft and comfy. The camel jacket I found on Amazon. I loved it so much that I bought it in a couple different colors. My crossbody bag is from Dooney & Burke. It's a really pretty burgundy leather with like this ostrich texture to it. And my boots I have had for years. They're by Mark Fisher. So comfy and perfect if you have a lot of walking to do. So I just got back. I was out a little bit longer than um, I thought I would be. I'm going to be making myself some lunch. I have my cozy clothes on. And what I'm making for lunch is I'm going to make a bobbly pizza. So I have to make a little bit of sauce. This is my favorite kind of tomato product to use for my pizza sauce. It's polpa crushed tomatoes. I just have it in a little pan here. I'm going to be adding some basil and parsley, garlic, all those yummy things to it. And I just have one of those really small bobbly pizza shells here. I just pulled it out of my freezer. I'm going to put it on my pizza pan here in just a minute and then we'll get it into the oven and eat. The best things about these bobolis are you can top them with just about anything that you want. I always like to chop up a little bit of pepperoni. I just chop them up in like, you know, like little squares like that. And I like mushroom. And today I have some green bell pepper that I'm gonna put on top. These are so great for a quick lunch. Usually when I make um, a little bit of pizza sauce, I put whatever is left over just in a little um, freezer Ziploc bag and stick it in your freezer because it takes just minutes for it to defrost the next time you want to use it. So I'm going to chop up my peppers here and then we will put our pizza together. So I like to put a lot of sauce on my pizza. I think it's one of the best things about pizza is the sauce that's on there, whether it's, you know, your traditional tomato or um, a white garlic sauce, which I like a lot too. I always add a little bit of garlic powder next because I love some garlic. And then I just put our toppings on. I have my pepperoni here. I just kind of spread it around as best as I can. And then I add my green pepper. So I have my toppings on my pizza here. I know it's a lot, but I really love a lot of veggies on my pizza. The next thing I always put on is some Pecorino Romano cheese. Growing up, this is the only cheese my family would put on their pizzas when they would make it. So it's a traditional favorite with me, but I also like to put a little mozzarella and provolone. There we go. So we're gonna pop it in the oven for about eight minutes and it'll be perfect. 
Oh, it smells so good. I usually slice it up into four um, pieces with my pizza cutter. I can usually only eat like two or three at a time. And you know, the other one I just kind of stick in the refrigerator for, you know, to nibble <laughs> on probably tonight before I go down and watch some TV. So I'm gonna have my lunch and then I'm gonna meet you guys up in my craft room. So I have you guys all set up here on my craft desk. I have a couple of things that I want to share with you and some really fun things that are going to be happening in the next couple of weeks that I am so excited about. I have a couple conferences coming up and the first one is happening in just a couple weeks. It is the Go Wild Planner Conference taking place in Washington, D.C. DC is like my backyard and I am so excited that I get to attend this year. If you're unfamiliar, this is a national conference, brings together um, planner companies, sticker shops, lovers of all things planner, brings them together in one spot for just a spectacular weekend. And I have been wanting to go since I first heard about it probably five or six years ago. And I'm so excited that this is the year that I can go and it's in my backyard. So what I have here is a box that they sent that I thought was just going to contain, you know, my badge for the conference, but they ended up sending a whole bunch of fun things in it. But let's just take a look at this box. Is this not just adorable? It has one of those um, magnetic closures and it's a perfect kind of box to, you know, save little mementos from the trip. So. On the inside, they have a whole brochure here that talks about the schedule and where everything's going to take place um, in the conference center. It has a bunch of information on, you know, if you have any special needs going on, where you need to be, at what time. There is a very sweet message from the founder, Jeanette, and it just gets you so excited for what they have in store. So on the inside, they have um, this adorable sleep mask that says, Wake Me in Washington, D.C. And if you see this, it's Washington, D.C., which I think is so cute. They also have included this beautiful washi tape from Simply Gilded. I don't know if you'll be able to see that up close with the glare, but it has like the whole DC skyline and it has sparkles in it. It is just beautiful. So this is my badge for the event. I have this all ready to go. I have some pins that I want to attach to my lanyard here that I'll show you guys in just a minute. And speaking of pins, of course, they sent this beautiful DC pin. Apparently, I guess that they send one or you can get one at all the conferences. I don't know if you can see that, if that's focusing on it, but it says Go Wild with the capital right there and the year 2023. They've also sent some beautiful mild liners that coordinate with the color theme for the event. I love mild liners. I don't know if you guys use them like in your planning or just around the house, but they are the perfect liners to highlight what you need to highlight without blocking out, you know, what the event actually is. So they've also included an awesome gel pen, a beautiful postcard that matches the washi tape. Isn't that just beautiful? I'm not gonna be sending this to anybody. I think I'm gonna add it in my scrapbook um, for the event. And they've also included a bunch of stickers. Peace, love, wild. The llama, this is from Chrissy Ann Designs. And then they have this decal here that just says wild with, I don't know if you can see that, but it has the outline of the capital there. Now the last thing in the box I think is really just so awesome. One of the speakers for the event is Frank Warren who wrote the book A Lifetime of Secrets and it was a project that he had done where people from all over, I don't know if just all over the country but all over the world, they would write down their deepest darkest secrets anonymously on a postcard and send it to him. And I just happened to have the book, I got this um, quite a while ago but I brought it back out when I knew that he was going to be one of the speakers. I'm going to probably bring it with me in hopes that, you know, he'll sign it for me while I'm there. But it is really just a profound book about life 
and the secrets that we keep and the truths that we tell. It's just really an awesome book. If you ever see this, pick it up, take a look at it. I promise you, you won't be sorry. So that's everything that came in my little Go Wild box here. I am so excited <laughs> to um, get to use all these things um, just in a couple weeks. The conference begins, I think, on the 2nd or 3rd of March. And even though it is in my backyard, I'm going to be saying staying at the hotel. So you guys will have to let me know down below if any of you guys are going to the conference and you see me, please come up and say hello. I would love to meet you. I think that's going to be probably one of the best things about this conference is get to, you know, actually meet the people that you've been following online and um, it's just going to be such a great experience. So this week I have been working on getting ready for the Go Wild conference and I also have another planner conference coming up in April so I thought I would just take the time and get ready for both of them all at the same time. So one of the things that I've put together are swaps. I had heard from a couple friends that a lot of people like to hand out swaps to the people that they meet along the way, you know, the people that you're standing in line with or sitting at a table with or you just, you know, meet on the carpet or in the elevator. It's just something for them to remember you by. It usually has your social media handles on it and just, you know, a little something. So in this bag, I have about 50 of them that I made up. Um, I, I think if I hand these out, I will be very proud of myself. But let me show you how I put them together. So I ordered this little sticker sheet from Planner Kate. It has a bunch of little stickers on it. You know, all of these little stickers come off. You can put them in your planner. It has my name and my social media handle on it. I thought these were so cute to include. I'm also putting in there my little business card that I have here with all of my YouTube, Facebook, everywhere that you can find me online. And then on the back here, I have one of those QR codes that you can scan and it'll take you right to my YouTube. YouTube channel. So I put them all together in a little packet that has um, a couple llama stickers in there and rainbow stickers and I also have uh, my favorite little lifesaver wintergreen candy. This is my favorite <laughs> candy. I have it on me all the time so I thought these would be really cute to you know hand out to my new friends that I meet along the way. So the first thing that I wanted to be sure that I picked up for myself was a t-shirt. I got this from Chrissy Ann Design. She had a bunch of different options to choose from, but this is the one that I picked. It says, it's a planner thing, and it is such a soft, long sleeve t-shirt. I got mine in a medium. I like my t-shirts to have a little bit of room in them and this one just fit so perfectly. I know I'm going to get a bunch of use out of this. At the conference they have something called the Plan Jamma where everybody gathers together. I think it's on the last night of the conference to spend you know, a little bit of time together before everybody you know, heads home. So I will probably be wearing that to the Plan Jamma. And then I just picked myself up a bunch of stickers for my planner and ones I'm going to use in my journal and in my scrapbook. So I picked myself up some journaling stickers. I use these not only in my journal, but in my scrapbook as well. I really love these circles. You know, you could match them up with different color cardstock so that you can create, you know, like a whole two page or one page spread around them. So I have the circles. I have the little washi strips and I also have the turn the torn corners. I use a lot of these types of stickers in my journal as well because I like to add, you know, just a little color and interest along the way. I picked up a bunch of um, these icon stickers. I have a couple sheets of these in here, which I think are really great. There's a bunch of um, the Washington sites that you can see. We have our llama there and a bunch of planner icons, like there's pens and washi tape and planners. I just think they are so adorable. And then I just got a bunch of the die cut stickers, which there is a Go Wild Washington DC. If it's not in my planner, it didn't happen. That's kind of how I feel. Um, wild in Washington, so many planners, so little time. Wild friends are the best friends. There's no such thing as too many stickers, which you guys know, that's how I feel. Life is better with confetti, and I went wild in Washington, D.C. I'm going to be sharing more about my prep for Go Wild and the conference itself, so stay tuned for those upcoming videos.
So I have my whole production line all set up here for dinner tonight. I'm going to be making um, some breaded chicken tenders with some orzo and spinach. I'm probably going to throw in, you know, some tomatoes, maybe some shredded carrot. We'll see what we have in our refrigerator. But I have my um, station all set up. I have one paper plate here with um, Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. This is just plain flour. And then in this little bowl, I have a couple eggs beaten with some milk. And I always put Frank's Red Hot or any type of hot sauce that I have in my egg mixture. It really doesn't add heat to your meal at all, but what it does is it adds a lot of flavor. So I have my package of chicken tenders over here that I'm going to open up and I'm going to season it, of course, with salt and pepper and garlic powder, Mrs. Dash, a little paprika, you know, all my favorite things. And then we are going to put some oil and butter in my big pan here, brown them up really good. And then what I like to do is I spread them out on a foil lined cookie sheet and then I bake them in the oven for just, you know, like maybe 15 or 20 minutes while I put together the rest of the meal. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna prep my chicken, get it all seasoned up and we're get started. My chicken is all seasoned, it's waiting over here. I have a little bit of butter, maybe two tablespoons in my pan and I'm gonna be using some canola oil for the little bit of frying that we're going to do. I do this exactly the way my mom taught me how to do it. She always said never use olive oil for any type of this kind of um, browning or frying. Always use a vegetable based oil. So I'm going to put a little bit in the pan and then I'm going to get it going with like a medium flame underneath. So I'm just covering the bottom of my pan with the oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of heat to that. So once this gets to the right temperature, we are going to take our chicken. First, we're going to dip it into the flour and then to our milk and eggs and hot sauce. And then we're going to coat it in the breadcrumbs. And take your time, you know, you could use a fork if you want to. Nice clean fingers are the best kitchen tools. And you can get that all nice and breaded. And then when our oil comes up to temperature, we're going to put it in the pan, saute it on both sides, get a nice crust to it, and then I'm going to put it here on my cookie sheet. So I have all the chicken tenders like quick fried. I have them laid out here on the cookie sheet. I'm just going to be putting them into the oven. It's like a 375 degree oven for anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes so that they can finish cooking while we make our orzo. I have the chicken in the oven and we're getting started on the orzo. I always like to cook orzo in a little bit of chicken broth or vegetable broth. I think it adds a lot of flavor to it. Um, we're gonna bring this to a boil and then we're going to add a little bit over a cup of orzo. The orzo is boiling away over here in my big pan. I have a little bit of olive oil and a couple tablespoons of butter. Um, this is just about ready. I'm gonna put some garlic in there and then I will toss in my spinach and tomatoes and let those cook for just a little while. And then we'll add the orzo with some fresh parsley and some seasonings. We're gonna put our pan back on the heat at medium. We're gonna add some of our orzo a little bit at a time and stir it in.
Now go ahead and add some salt and pepper. A little bit of garlic powder. I like to also add a little bit of Italian seasoning, some basil, maybe a little oregano, and hot pepper flakes. This is what dinner looks like for us tonight. I'm probably just going to have a really small plate because I had such a big lunch earlier. But this is one of those really quick weeknight meals that you can put together in no time at all. Not only is it beautiful, but it's delicious too. And don't forget the Locatelli Romano cheese on top of everything. It just is perfect. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please check the description box down below for links to items that I mentioned in today's video. Join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life, and please don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other. Stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Feel bad.